Sharing is one of the greatest things that an individual can do to sort of make a difference. Eight years ago, Darren Cotton helped spearhead a unique idea, providing a place where people could borrow tools to fix up their homes without shelling out lots of cash to buy them. And the University Heights Tool Library was born in Buffalo. It really is a platform for so many different ideas. Since then, the nonprofit Community Resource Center has grown tremendously thanks to many donations. So our members can borrow from an inventory of 3,000 tools. The tool library has more than just screwdrivers and wrenches. From your basic hand tools you see behind me to chop saws, pressure washers, uh, lawn mowers, chainsaws. <laughs> There are high-end power tools, ladders, all sorts of yard equipment, and pretty much anything a homeowner, community group, or block club might need. So we are open to all of western New York. And the tool library is not just for Buffalo residents. As far north as Lewiston and Niagara Falls, and as far south as Colden and Springville. It works like this. For a $20 yearly fee, you can borrow tools for a week at a time. So most members are going to make that back and then some in their first time borrowing a tool. <laughs> A listing of all tools is posted online. While the library runs on a first-come, first-served basis, library members can call a few days before to see if a tool they need will be available. Because we really don't want cost to be a barrier to people fixing up their homes. And with 5,600 transactions last year, the tool library is helping many people and groups make ends meet. <laughs> It is a way to cut down on consumption, but also build community at the same time. While the tool library is doing its part to help save people money, it also could use some help itself. It needs volunteers to help run the store and fix its collection of tools. In Buffalo, Ed Riley 7 Eyewitness News.